Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be taking a look on the best OBS settings for recording in 2018. As you can see the date is the 23rd of July 2018 and these are currently the best settings for recording. Before this video starts, if this video helps you in any way possible, all I ask back is for you to drop a like. If you have any questions at all then be sure to drop me a follow on Twitter and DM me. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is basically just open OBS. If you haven't actually downloaded OBS, all you have to do is head to Google, type in OBS in the search bar, type in OBS and this like this this page will like show up. Just you just have to go like click on Windows and it'll start downloading basically as you can see I've already downloaded it so I don't really need to do that so we're good to go in that department but with that being said all you have to do is like launch OBS and this layout page will show up if this if it shows up like this all you have to do is go like right click and then enable preview and you will have this huge black screen in front of your face okay so let's start with the actual source like let me rename it like it's like desktop basically because I'm going to be recording my desktop and then go under source, like select this and go to sources and click this plus button and then go like display capture and then type in desktop because you're recording your desktop basically and boom as you can see I'm recording my desktop it's a bit trippy don't worry um go ahead and select your monitor and you are good to go click ok and this is it um my monitor is like my it's, it's like showing like this it's like showing like this small because of my monitor it's like it's not like 1080p this is recording in 1080p so we're good to go and now all we have to do is have, go head to files settings and this page should actually show up okay um for general all you can change basically like the theme i like the dog theme so i'm gonna be keeping it and now you can go ahead and like skip the streaming tab and go to output basically make sure the output mode is, sele is selected on the, on advanced Go to recording this right here and then type in like make sure it's selected on standard and then all you have to do now is basically browse for where you want your videos to be stored it's basically for me it's basically on the desktop like it's on this folder right here i've already i've already made it like you could select whatever like whatever folder you want you don't have to copy my stuff um, for the recording format, MP4 is the best as it is supported for, with like every editing software like possible. I only have one audio track so I'm just gonna keep it on one. And for, as for the encoder, I'm gonna be selecting the NVIDIA one. And from there, like if you have an NVIDIA card, you could just, you know, select the NVIDIA card because I have a GTX 1050 Ti and it, it could handle it. From there, like if you have an AMD card, it should say AMD basically. If you don't have neither an NVIDIA or an AMD card, you just have to go to this option right here. But I, I do have an NVIDIA card, so I'm selecting that. As for the rate control, I'm, I'm selecting CBR because it is the most quality ever. And for the bit rate, I'm selecting 40,000, okay. One, two, three. Okay, 40,000 is good for me. It doesn't lag for me. All you have to do is like basically like switch it up. You can go like type in 40,000, 30,000, you know, select multiple settings and see and like, like test it and see if it's like working. See if it's like recording without any problems because this bitrate could actually make or break your recording as it will cause lag. So select the bitrate that your computer is capable of. Or if you don't want all of that headache, just keep it on default, it's no problem. And after that, make sure use to pass encoding is selected. Like, and then go GPU 0 and B frames to 2. After that, click on apply and then go to audio. Make sure this audio bitrate is, is on 320 because it's the best one. Click apply and then head to audio. Okay, for the sample rate, okay, you need to select the same sample rate as your microphone if you if you don't know how to check that just head to this speaker icon and then go recording devices go to your microphone as you can see go properties and then advanced and this is my bitrate as you can see it's 441 as you can see if this is 44.1 which is the same so I'm just gonna be selecting that and then for the desktop audio devices select your headphones this is my headphones I'm selecting them or if you have any speakers you, you could just use the speakers after that 
for the microphone I'm selecting my microphone you just have to go mic and auxiliary audio device select your microphone my microphone is basically on my headset so I'm going to be using that and that's pretty much it click apply and you are good to go and now you head to video and then like put this on 1080p okay 1080p is good and then make sure the downscale filter is on the last option right here after that select the fps it, it'll, it'll probably be 30 by default crank it up to 60 because 60 fps is the best frames per second for youtube and then go to hotkeys um for the hotkeys I'm not using any so I cannot really help you with that but hotkeys are really useful as you could like start, start or stop recording with the click of a button which is really good. Then go to advanced, make sure this, make sure the processor priority goes to above normal and then make sure the render is on, on direct 3D 11 because direct 11 is good. As for the color format, NV12 is good also, crank this up to 709. After that, make sure the UV color range is at full, it'll be at partial by default. Make sure it says full, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Click apply, click OK, and and this is it. This is the whole settings. Let me just test it out. So all you have to do to start recording is like, go right here and like click start recording. Once it says stop recording, as you can see, that means it started recording and the, and the recording counter should start. As you can see, it's like capturing my actual audio right here in the mixer. And let me do some stupid stuff. Let me open paint and let me, it opened on my second monitor, blah, blah, blah. Like this is paint, I'm recording paint right now. Yeah, this is fun. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Great, after that, I just have to go to OBS and stop recording. So it stops the recording. And as you could see, a new, let me just close this a bit. As you could see, a new file just came into my OBS recording folder that I selected a while ago. And as you could see, it's not really the biggest, the biggest file size ever. As you could see, this is it. Let me just shut up. And once it says stop recording, as you could see, that means it started recording, and the and the recording counter should start. As you can see, it's like capturing my actual audio. As you can see, that's the video that I just recorded. I wasn't talking at all. Um. For OBS, I don't really like to record my voice in OBS because as you can see, my microphone's got a lot of background noise, so I really like to get rid of that using Audacity. But other than that, those were the best settings for OBS. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and be sure to share this video with your gaming friends so they can learn how to use OBS. I will make a video on how to use streaming with OBS, like the best streaming settings in a while, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. If you have any questions, DM me and I will make sure to answer. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.